from huge bullish divergence in Dogecoin's price and its rising adoption to all the latest data and updates from the crypto world, I'm going to talk about some very important things in this video. So let's see what's happening. So first of all, we are now seeing that after the recent rally, crypto prices have witnessed a slight retracement in the last 24 hours. We can see here that Bitcoin is now back in the 40k range and Ethereum and other altcoins have also started to trade in the red. As a result, the overall crypto market cap is now sitting below the $1.9 trillion level and the total crypto trading volume has also suffered during this time. And one of the reasons why crypto prices have fallen again is that the Fed has announced a more hawkish monetary policy. So the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell recently said that raising the benchmark U.S. interest rate by 50 basis points will be on the table for the next Federal Open Market Committee meeting in May. And these remarks from the Fed Chair have spread fear and uncertainty among investors and they are now backing out of both crypto and the stock market. So far, tighter monetary policy has been a headwind for speculative assets such as stocks and cryptos this year. And it appears that this trend may continue throughout this year. And now, let's come to Dogecoin and see what's happening with it. So the price of Dogecoin is now showing an interesting development after its breakout from a bullish setup on 23 March. The initial move was volatile however, Doge seems to be stuck consolidating, hinting at an explosive run. This is highly likely especially when on-chain metrics show that whales are increasing their rate of accumulation. So we can see here that the Dogecoin price action from 29 September 2021 to 23 March has created three distinctive lower highs and lower lows as it crashed 85% from its all-time high at 74 cents. Connecting the swing points in this downtrend forms a falling wedge pattern. While this setup is popular, it forecasts a 34% upswing, obtained by measuring the distance between the first swing high and swing low. And adding this distance to the breakout point reveals a target of 17 cents for Doge, which it can claim pretty soon. We can also see here that on 24 March, Dogecoin's price shattered through the falling wedgie's upper trend line at 13 cents and has been stuck in consolidation ever since. The sideways movement seems to have undergone a bullish development as Doge has recently rallied above the 50-day and 100-day simple moving averages at 13.2 and 13.9 cents. Meanwhile, we can see that this uptick and flip of the crucial hurdles will now serve as a support level that will facilitate a further uptrend. Therefore, investors need to keep a close eye on Doge as it is expected to explode pretty soon. Interestingly enough, a breakout will likely propel Dogecoin by 28% to the first target at 17 cents, which also happens to coincide with the 200-day SMA. What it means is that this barrier is likely where Dogecoin's price will form a local top. However, if buyers band together and clear this hurdle, the momentum could be enough to trigger an extension of the uptrend to the 21 cent ceiling. Now the good thing is that Dogecoin's supply distribution chart is actually supporting this insane run-up for it. This on-chain index tracks the changes in the wallets holding Dogecoin. Over the last few weeks, wallets holding 10 million or more tokens have propped up their accumulation from 77.9% to 81.8% between 8 February and 20 April. So what it means is that this sudden and exponential uptick serves as a proxy of institutional investors' interests and predicts the incoming bull run for Doge. Now, another very important thing happening for Doge is that everyone is now expecting Doge to become the future currency of the internet. A lot of its proponents still have massive faith in the meme coin. One such person is Vlad Tenev, the CEO and co-founder of Robinhood. We know that he recently stated that Dogecoin could truly be the future currency of the internet. However, the pertinent question remains. Will the Doge be able to fulfill this prophecy in light of what is evident on chain and on price charts? While noting that the future of cryptocurrency is marked by low transaction fees, Tenev argued that the Doge transaction fees were already very low. So this is giving it an edge over other cryptos. According to Tenev, Doge is poised to become the future currency of the internet if it would be able to increase its throughput by at least 10,000 times, a feat achievable by increasing the block size limit for Doge.
However, despite the CEO opinions, a look at price charts analysis and on-chain analysis provided some significant pointers into the behavior of Dogecoin. We can see here that consideration of Dogecoin's money flow index over a four-month period revealed a constant bear pull towards the oversold region and the 50 neutral level or regions around it. Within the period under review, Doge inched close to the overbought 80 region, but the bulls could never make it through. It nearly touched the 7 and 4 region on three different occasions, and once it hit these points, what followed was a downtrend. And as of now, the MFI for Doge stood at 50.7 in the neutral region. This position above was also confirmed by the movements of the RSI within the same window period. Within this time frame, the bulls have only been able to push Doge to an overbought position of 76.3 only once on 5 April. And as of now, the RSI stood at 53.6, which is a neutral region. So what we are now seeing is that everything is now nicely shaping up for Doge. While its price is eyeing a huge bull run, its on-chain analysis is also predicting a bright future for it. And with that being said, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So Bitcoin decreased significantly during the last 24 hours, creating a long upper wick and briefly falling around 40k. While Bitcoin managed to go over the 42k mark recently, it fell considerably the same day and created a bearish candlestick with a long upper wick. The price is now back at the ascending support line, negating the majority of the gains that were made on April 18. Meanwhile, technical indicators in the daily time frame are mostly bearish. The reason for this is that the RSI is below 50 and the MACD is negative. These are both considered signs of a bearish trend. However, despite these bearish signals, some bullish things are also happening. We are now seeing that on-chain data provider Sanamon has reported that whales have been accumulating during the recent price drop of around 40k. Bitcoin whale addresses holding 100 to 10k Bitcoin have collectively accumulated about 18k more Bitcoin since the April 10th price drop below 40k. Similarly, we are now seeing that one giant crypto whale is moving over $600 million worth of Bitcoin. According to blockchain tracker whale alert, the wallet moved about 14k Bitcoin worth almost $600 million at the time of transfer on April 21st. Following the transfer, the massive stash was moved to a series of different addresses before eventually ending up in an unknown wallet with only one transaction record on the blockchain. The Whale Tracker also reports significant Bitcoin movements involving leading U.S. crypto exchange Coinbase and the Gibraltar-based digital asset storage provider Sapo this week. And seeing these huge Bitcoin transactions, popular on-chain analyst Will Clement is saying that whales are now in an accumulation phase. In fact, he reveals that Bitcoin whales have been accumulating for over a month now. So this is massive news for Bitcoin as investors are now buying it and this can help it come out of this bearish pattern. Meanwhile, a widely followed crypto analyst is looking at the movement of Bitcoin over a nearly two-year time frame to plot out where it might be headed next. In a new tweet, Kevin Spenson says that Bitcoin appears to be sitting at a crossroads when viewing its simple moving average over the past 600 days. He also provides a Bitcoin chart tracking a series of higher lows dating back to the beginning of this year. He says that Bitcoin's 600-day SMA is proving to be very important. We have not closed a daily candle below this MA since the 2020 crash. He highlights that we are interacting with a lot of long-term MA right now, and we are at a crossroads in the long term. The trader next charts Bitcoin's 200-day, simple moving average broken down into three-day candles. If Bitcoin stays above the average, Spenson believes Bitcoin's bullish proposition remains intact. We can see here that Bitcoin's price has caught up with the 200 SMA on the three-day chart. It's very straightforward. It's a long-term MA, giving it more significance on the macro scale. Above it means the bullish macro thesis is intact. Below, it may put us in a 2018-style position. However, we are still above it. And as per Spenson, despite the many predictions of Bitcoin's imminent rise or demise, he thinks future price action will most likely be influenced by whether stock prices change dramatically. He believes that Bitcoin could stay neutral like this for a while unless the stock market does something significant. And now, let's come to Ethereum for a minute.
So after the recent rally, Ethereum has now fallen to the 3K price range during the last 24 hours. And if Ethereum fails to gain pace above this level, it could continue to move down. Initial support on the downside is near the 2.9K zone. The first major support is near the 2.95K level. If there is a downside break below this support, the price could accelerate lower. And now coming back to Doge, we have just seen that despite the current price movements, it has made some bullish formations. So it appears that Doge is going for a massive run-up in the coming months. In any case, where do you think we are headed from here? Let me know in the comments section below.